Hi everyone, Emma here. I'm back. So I hope that you got a chance to complete 10 of these pieces here that I showed in the previous video. And as you can see on these, the edge is on an angle. So I'm going to show you, let me just adjust the camera here. I'm going to show you how to connect these because this is what you want in the end is you want two sets of these so you see how they're just attached at those sections and eventually when we get everything together this will be pulled down a little more so this will stick out a little, little more I mean not too much I guess but that's the bottom of your egg or the top of your egg here so um, right now, these are, it's going to look different than this because I have all these pieces already attached and I left this one unattached so I can show you how to do that one, but that will be the next video. So when you put these together, it's going to look like something like this with just these little pieces all together. So let's go ahead. Super simple. You're just sewing it together so let me see which one has a needle here now I do leave all my threads on um, you can go ahead and hide your threads um, whenever you want um, I just leave it in case I need it so like I have two threads here if I want to do the one side with one thread and the other side with the other thread but usually there's enough thread on there that one thread will do both sides so then you can take say take your stop bead out and weave back into your work and tie it in a knot if you want so actually this is kind of small so that that's probably what I would do with this one but we'll do that in a sec and that is you know everybody has a way of doing it that's unique to them so let me see so it's this side that has the needle and thread on it so I will work on this side and the thread is at the top um, I might you could start at the top to attach so you take this one here and start weaving it together um, I would I mean I'm sure you can keep track but I would maybe take the bottom beads and attach those first just because then you know you are exactly in the right spot sometimes you know this area here you may have put one bead too many or something so then it would throw everything off but um let me just take a look here at what i have so and i think i'm going to enlarge this some more because this is really hard to see for you so I want to make sure you can see what I'm suggesting okay. let's put these two on my finger so you can see okay so there's the first one on this side there's the first on that so kind of line it up like that so yeah you can see I probably should have put a delica here instead of a um a 15 oh but it's not going to matter right now because we're going to put it together and it, you won't notice that so if we start at the top do you know what i think i'm going to do is i'm just going to put my thread down to the bottom and start at the bottom that'll make it simpler for you i don't want to make this confusing so you can see it's coming out of here so you're just going to go into the next bead and you're going to go on an angle and go through all the beads on that angle like that simple pull it through there and then grab your second piece so now you are coming out of this bead here let me see if I can 
move that down a bit for you. So we're coming out of this bead here. We're going to go up through the same bead on the other side. Just like that. And then we're going to bring our thread so that it brings it together like that. Okay. So now what you can do is you can go through this one again and then go up and then jump up one. So I think that's what we'll do. And that way it will give us two passes of the thread in each bead. So we're going to go back to the other side, the first bead, but we're going to go through the top of the bead and down like that. So this is the, the part with all these threads that might be confusing for you all. So move that out of the way. Pull your needle through. Okay, and bring it tight. So you might have a hard time seeing this now since they're joined. So let's see if I can get that for you. Okay, so we're coming out of this one here. We're going to go back into the same single one on the opposite side. But now instead of coming out of that first bead, we're going to jump up to the second bead. So you see we're going through two. Pull that through and keep adjusting so that it's nice and snug. Like that. So now we're going to, we're coming out of the second bead on this one. We're going to go through the second bead on the second one. And we're going through the top like that. And we're going to come out of that bead. This is definitely in the way. Okay, pull tight. Then, so we're coming out of the second bead on this side. We are going to go through the second bead on the other side, but now we're going to jump to up one. So we're actually going through two beads at once. Pretty tight. So now we're going to go to the bead that's in line with that, which is now the third bead. We're going to go through the third and only the third. That. So now we're going to cross over to the other side. We're going to go through that third bead and the fourth bead like that. Then we're going to cross to the other side. We're going to go down through the fourth bead and only the fourth bead. So we're going to cross over. This is going to be the last time here. And again, this is the one I said I should have had a, a Delica and not a 15 -0. So we're going to go through. So this is now one, two, three, four. We're going to go through the fourth bead and the fifth bead. Like that. Okay. And then we're going to cross over to the bead, the corresponding bead on the other side. So there's the thread here. We're going to go through this one. Like that. So that is now attached. So we can take this thread and we can weave it in. You can go through it again if you want. Um, It's not really necessary, although you can see how there's a bit of thread showing here, but that might tighten when I tighten, say, my stop bead. So when we get rid of these threads. So let's go ahead and just finish this off and then we'll clean up these threads. 
So let's go over to the other side again. And actually we can tighten this area here um, where you see the thread and that way it, uh, it will take care of that. So tighten that up like that. Now we're just going to take our thread. I might just go up this to tighten it. Those beads. So you can go through a few. I don't think it went through the 15 0. Yeah. So you might have to go through these individually. There, I went through a few at a time. Okay. So that's good. It all looks nice and tight. So I'm going to take this and weave it into here and maybe tie one knot and cut the thread. So let's go into the next one, the next Delica, but we're going to go on an angle. So I've gone through four. You see how that snugged that up? Okay. So I think I'm going to pick up a thread here. So I'm just picking up a single thread. I'm going to take my thread and wrap it around twice and pull it snug towards that thread. Then I'm going to push my needle through and pull tight. So there's, you can see the knot there, but we're going to pop that in one of the beads and you won't see it. So the next bead on an angle is a Delica here. So I'm going to just go through the Delica and the toe hose. And so you see the knot and voila, the knot's gone. So that's it. We can take this off now. So let me grab that, take my needle off. And if you have a thread burner, you can use a thread burner. I'm just going to use these. They seem to be sharp right now. So we'll hang, we'll use these scissors. So this is what you should have for your first one. And that's what it looks like. So now you take your next one and move to the next side and attach. You're going to do that for the first, uh, there's one, two, three, four, five. So you're going to do that for all of them, but then you're going to notice it's all like one long piece. So then you're going to take and fold them around. Where is it here? So then, so it'll all be as if this is, this is not attached here. These will all be attached kind of accordion like, and then you're going to take all your pieces and bring it together to attach the final one to the, the first one you added like that. Okay, so get to that point. If you have any questions, by all means, ask me. If it's not clear with the color of these beads, what's happening, let me know and I'll I'll uh, do my best to redo it with some really different, like a white and a black bead or something like that to, to make it a little clearer for you. This is so beautiful. I really wanted to share this design with you. So, um, it's like something totally different that can be so exciting. So there you go. So get all your things, your little stems attached. So you're going to do that twice. You have 10 of these strips. So you're going to do five to create this. And you're going to do a second set of five to do the other, which will be a top and a bottom. And come back in the next video. I will take this one here and I will show you how to add this to the pieces. And you'll have to repeat that one, two, three, four, five. So you'll have to repeat it 10 times. But again, this one's like super easy as well. This is all peyote stitch. So you're just going to add these beads, then start peyote stitch. And at the end, we're going to incorporate these three millimeter bicone, Swarovski bicones.
to finish it off. So come back and we'll see you in a bit. Bye.